In this video, I will be discussing uh, objective questions of HC Verma and the chapter is field and potential. The first question says you have to find where the electric field is moved. If electric fields are close together, the field strength is more. So at point A and C, the density of field or the number of fields per unit area is more. So field at A and C will be more and at B they are far apart so it will be less. So E at A is equal to E at C which are more than E at B. In the next question, uh, when the separation between two charges is increased, we have to find the potential energy of the system will change or how it will change. If the charges are positive and you increase the separation, then the potential energy of the system will decrease but if the charges are of positive and negative polarity and then you increase the distance then the potential energy will increase so it depends on the type of charges so the answer should be d because it may increase and it may decrease again it will decrease if the charges are of same polarity and it will increase if the charges are of opposite polarity in the third question, it is stated that a charge is shifted from a low potential region to high potential region. The electrical potential energy of the charge or of the system will obviously increase because as change in potential energy is Q into change in potential and delta V is positive as the charge has moved from low to high potential. So the change in potential is positive and the change in potential energy will also be positive as both Q and delta V are positive. In the fourth question there are two points A and B on which charges equal positive charges are placed and we have to find how the potential will vary as we move from A to B. The potential will first in decrease and then increases. So let's look at the page. Let's say these are the two charges. They are two charges and uh, they are separated by a distance 2a so uh, near the charges the potential will be infinite if we are very near the charges potential will be infinite and in the midpoint it will be kq by a twice because of both kq by a kq by a and it will be 2 kq by a as it is a very small value in comparison to infinite so potential will near a charge a will be infinite then we move away potential become minimum which is 2 times kq by a again it will rise to infinite as we move from a to b in the fifth question there is an electric field which is towards positive x-axis and these are the four points a b c d having given coordinates we have to find at which point the potential is minimum uh, we uh, can say that the potential decreases as we move in the direction of field so as we move further along x-axis the point will have least potential so just draw a circle on which there are two points on each axis x-axis and y-axis so the point which is on the x-axis and having the maximum coordinate on x-axis will be having least potential because going in the direction of x-axis potential decreases going in the direction of field potential decreases so the point having maximum x coordinate is a which will be on the right side of the center at a distance a from origin will have least potential in the next question there is a body which is charged by rubbing its weight will if it is getting positively charged its weight will decrease and if it's getting negatively charged its weight will increase because extra electrons will come on it so the charge is not specified so it weight may increase or decrease slightly in the next question a dipole is placed in a uniform electric field and uh, when the field is uniform the value of field and its direction is same everywhere so both the charges on a dipole plus charge and negative charge both will experience equal and opposite forces so the net force on the dipole has to be zero no matter where it is placed and how it is placed in the next question uh, there are two charges one is at point this center which is q and there's a charge we bring from p to a p to b or p to c so uh, we have to find in which uh, path 
we have to do more work as the final separation between QA, QB and QC are same so the potential energy will change by the same amount as the initial separation between uh, between P and Q is a fixed value and the final separation is also same so the change will be same so we have to perform equal work no matter if we are bringing charge from P to A or P to B or P to C as the final potential energies are same in the next question a charge Q small Q is rotated in a circle uh, around a capital charge Q so we have to find the work done by electric forces or electric field in rotating the charge by one complete rotation and uh, the work has to be zero because the work of an electric field will be a work done by a conservative field which is zero in a closed path no matter where the charge is placed or what polarity of charge is being rotated even if the uh, path would would not be a circle it would have been an ellipse or any other closed path so the uh, work done should be zero no matter the charge q is at the center or otherwise so answer should be a